And while we were in North Korea there, one night I heard a child crying out in the street. And uh, so I got up and went out, and here was this little bo boy it was. Uh, I'm guessing four or five years old. He was soaking wet, it was raining, and he was walking down this muddy road. And I knew I didn't think he could make it to night. So I took him back to the tent and took his clothes off and dried him up. And I had a, I don't know, <clears throat> candy bar or something there, a snack of some kind I gave him because he was hungry too. And uh, the only thing that I could get was uh, his mother was killed by an airplane. Mm. So I kept him in the company. Uh, nobody uh, hollered. Uh, in fact, uh, the whole company, I mean the whole crew, uh, this uh, company, headquarters company, uh, they all looked after him. I mean, I couldn't look after him all, all the time, but uh, kind I of a made company, it. Company mascot, really, kind of? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, uh, because I got him a mess kit in case we ever had a mess hall. <laughs> we didn't too much. Yeah. We had sea rations, World War II sea rations. <laughs> And uh, everybody in the company, they write home and say uh, they got this little kid to send us some clothes. And uh, there was quite a few or a few that wanted to adopt him. Oh, wow. wow. And, uh, but they wouldn't let North Koreans come into this country. So uh, he's just stayed in the company, and I may check, make sure he was clean and and uh, getting along fine. They, the guys were really good. They'd see him in line, and they'd, oh, come up here with me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he... Uh, he got along just fine. He learned English really quite fast. So, I mean, he could speak it and he could know what it meant. Wow. And uh, so, and I just well finish the story. Yeah, for well, please. Him. Uh, when we moved back south, we just took him with us. So he wound up being a South Korean. So, and he was still there. He was in our medical unit, actually. But he would wander around the whole, where the company was, and but he stayed with them. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, Any idea whatever happened to him? Uh, no, I had my, our houseboy, <coughs> <clears throat> take him to school. I said, now you make sure he goes to school because he's going to have to live here. <laughs> so uh, he's done pretty good. No, he was still there when I mm. left. Wow. 